At this Orlando prosthetic center, every step these wounded Ukrainian warriors take is a small victory. Go in the States uh, and uh, get a new new prosthetics here here in this center. So now you, you see I don't use uh, canes, I don't use uh, crutches like before this. Vladislav Zhivaronik lost a leg and sight in one eye when he says a Russian rocket hit him as he defended the city of Mariupol. He was later taken captive and held for two months until he was freed in a prisoner swap. His wounds were serious enough that nonprofit group Revived Soldiers Ukraine brought him to Orlando for treatment. Now he just wants to get back to the fight. I don't feel afraid of death, uh, no more. And uh, I lost almost all my friends in Mariupol. Uh, I still have some some friends who are still alive, but uh, part of them in Russian captivity still, and part of them in a battlefield still. So uh, I cannot feel free now. He's one of six soldiers currently getting prosthetics and rehabilitation in Orlando. Revived Soldiers Ukraine has also placed wounded troops at other U.S. rehab centers. The work can take from three weeks to nearly three months. It's not always easy, but the staff says these men are driven to succeed. Misha, first he comes in, he goes to the gym, he exercises, then he gets with the Alex, who's a physical therapist, so he assigns some, uh, some uh, exercises to strengthen his body. So very high motivation. Revived Soldiers Ukraine raises the money for the prosthetics and the rehab center provides care pro bono. Organizers say it's their way to help win this war. They're very uh, active and they don't want to sit in a wheelchair. So that's, that's great, you know, it makes me happy that we can actually help. And the soldiers say they won't quit until the job is done. All of we want is uh, uh, live in our country, work in our country, um, um, to borrow our children, uh, uh, to get a better future for, for, this, uh, for, for our children. Only this. In Orlando, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.